What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Getting everything started here. What's going on? What's going on? Cool. Everything works there. Great. I just wanted to make sure. Just waiting a couple moments, getting everything all together, making sure everything's... Uh, functioning wait for some people to get in here So I'm just waiting for it right now. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Um, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Oh, wow, the music is okay. Making sure I can see all the um, the comments and stuff. Just bear with me for a quick second, guys. I'm I'm talking I'm talking small, not small. I'm talking quiet. Um, hold on. Like I'm not talking a hundred percent directly into it. I'm just getting everything ready. What's going on? How is everybody doing? Lions football is here. Prowess is here. Okay. Alrighty. So I submit from because I don't know who that is. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna go through this. Uh. Pretty seamless here. I'm um, just checking, making sure I got all the all the stuff here. Okay. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad everybody's good. Um, I uh, came out with this project uh, March 9th of this month, and um, if anybody doesn't know about this, if you guys haven't heard it, you know you could definitely go to the Bandcamp. I'll make sure I uh, type that in there, but. Like I said, I'm going to play it here. So if you did want to, you know, hear it again and different things like that, it's already on my band camp here. I'm just typing it in for you. So that's the site you can go to if um, you wanted to, you know, support the project. Um, this project is actually a, a personal project. It's one of my first projects where I talked about some things personally that um, happened with me about, you know, within the 25 years. And it's just kind of basically a, a story about my life and certain things I've been through. And, and to be honest, after I made the project and then I made a release for it and everything, I haven't listened to it since because I, you know, I have traumas with the things that I was talking about in this project. So it's, you know, one of those kind of projects. So uh, we could just go right into it. Um, the first thing I would say, if you guys are new, this is actually part four of the series of the Player One series. So there's I Am Player One, uh, the All Spark, and then Test Drive, which is officially available on vinyl. So when you buy the vinyl, you also get this project success and failure on the key to the game, which is right here, which is a flash drive of a uh, discography of the stuff I already came out with. So you could be able to check out those things. So that's the thing that's really, really cool about that. And um, no further ado, um, I'll just go right into it. So the first track is called Four Months Left, which is meaning four months left until Gerald's Field, which is the album that comes out in July that concludes everything. So I'm going to go right into that, and uh, we'll see what we're looking at. Let's, let's work on the sound first, make sure we're good. Do you guys hear that okay? Okay. 
Only four months left till Gerald's field. Still can't figure out how to activate this thing. Hmm, so let's see. I see a morpher of some kind, like a Power Ranger style mix with my Allspark. Maybe as a date on the glove that's based on the Power Rangers. So if that would be 1993. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Both of my gloves are glowing. I'm about to die. Will my last meal be in a Lunchable? That's just great. So you activated the left-handed power glove. Who is that? You already know it's Ray. No way. Yes, it is. I'm you from the past. When you combine both gloves, you unlock parts of yourself that you kept sealed away for certain reasons or fears. See, see, see. <laughs> I got no reason to do that. I'm just fine where I am. Not exactly. See, the left-handed power glove can be a gift and a curse. You ever wonder why everyone else isn't able to have one? It's because they were not able to bear the stress of facing their own fears. Yeah, well, um, I don't like heights or bees. You know I'm not talking about that. Your deepest fear. The one no one knows. The one that shaped you to be who you are today. Your very source of yourself. Success and failure. Oh, goodness. I guess it's time. Okay, so the first track is four months later, um, you know, before, you know, until I have to go to Gerald's Field, and it's a whole story thing. So if you guys never heard the albums before, I suggest you hear the other ones so you could be able to hear exactly where this is on this particular. Um, this is about, you know, a lot of people see that, you know, I have the, you know, the Power Glove, Nintendo Power Glove, but they, I'm left-handed. So they never made a left-handed one, so I made a left-handed Power Glove. I actually uh, got them with me, so I'll show you. Hold on. Of course, I got them with me. I own them. Uh, one second, guys. Okay, I'm just trying not to tangle myself with this thing. Um. Okay, so. Of course, you know, I got the Nintendo Power Glove. I know a lot of people know about it. I actually got it signed by the band Power Glove, which is pretty cool. So I got my right regular Power Glove, and then I got this one custom made, which is the left-handed Power Glove. And then on the left-handed Power Glove, you can see, I know it's the green screen, I'm sorry. But uh, you can see there's a morph on the side there, and then it's got like the, the original Nintendo pad. So I made it like it's something you know, exclusive there. But also, I do have signatures on it, and I know it's hard to see because of the the thing. It's got signed by JDF, by Tommy himself. So the Green Ranger uh, signed them for me, and it, and it meant a lot. He even wore it and made a video with it. It was very, very amazing for me because that's, that's my childhood. Like, he was, my, you know, one of my favorite Rangers and still one of my favorite um, celebrities I've ever met in my life, you know. I'm inspired by... Um, by Jason David Frank. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I am, man. I mean, I even got a, a whole outfit. I've even made a whole cosplay out of the Power Ranger thing. That's what the, when I used the Morph, I turned into Player One, the hero kind of thing. So I did that. So the thing is, is that um, what it is, is in the story, just so you know, I got the AllSpark, which is supposed to be a Nintendo Power Glove. And then I need two pieces to be able to take it to Rushmore to, to you know, to beat the game and escape it. Because I'm, you know, trapped in a game called Nerdcore. And I'm basically going against a villain that's named Major Label. I know that makes sense. So you're trapped trying to get out of the box, which is Nerdcore, the box. And then Major Label's trying to put you in that category. So you're trying to escape the video game. So I made a whole concept of individuals who are in nerdcore that feel like they can only stay in this genre but they can't do the same things everybody else does so i basically made a whole story just based off of that and just put different characters and people talking to me and made it an enticing story so that's what i did with that sorry i had to make sure i got the phone here uh what's up john man hope everything's good uh so that's what i did with that with the project so um, the next track is actually called Therapy, so you get to hear me rapidly rap rap, you know, like anybody else would like 
So let's go right into it. And uh, yep, all right. Welcome to level one. This is there. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Do not leave anything on the table this time. So what's on your mind? The same Facebook, huh? What's happening? Tweets. Same sort of questions when social media wants you to speak. Talk is cheap. Dollar menus. Let me continue. We're more satisfied with digital scenes than packing venues. Yikes, the old head. Got the formula spoon fed. But golden era meds. I'm over the counter like Sudafed. What you dreadlocks in the track align to the head. Train the parasail. Will you parallel to jump in a ledge? Make a pledge. Dust them off. Lemon zest. Diamonds merchandise valued at its best. None of less. Not impressed. Not concerned with opinions. So blow off like a whistle. My own lane doesn't mean I can't use turn signals that bump you off the road. Think you better than Doug Funny? The poor shop come back to skies a nematode. Yeah, the story old, heading towards the glory road. Double dash with toe, just do your best. That story told to I'm gray and old. The gray poop on you fancy though. What I muster is the gas you be fuming, bro. Took a week and a half to finish in the studio. A step to keep the millennium puzzled like Yu-Gi-Oh. Where I'm surprised it took oh my to electrify brain stimuli to have you realize racism's still alive. More mad at the blacks that let us subside when the prize in the bag, but they don't want to jeopardize the Audi that they drive. Yep, here come the flashing lights and pedestrians left with a family and still have to fight for Miranda rights and that's the jab if you're looking right for all the hood niggas that claim off-white to please suburban nice you heard it right 7-elevens of brain tease works cold in the head what the fuck is a brain freeze like gold dough in the guinea pose keep that same energy 19 or your head will roll yeah you explode, but now I understand it. You want your five minutes of fame to last longer than Planet Namek. Try to cram it in the sensu bean and go to flee the scene. Kruger, when I kill a dream, the fonder of the slasher things. Blood on my shirt and jeans, now I got a better scheme. I want your ego over the drawstring hoodie. When you sleep awake the next morning in the guillotine. By any means, walking off clean like Zimmerman. Getting juice to envision in every day that we witness and it's sickening. Wear a mask, a reaper will show you they social distancing from ground up. And kill the roots like Roundup. Quiet place to be blunt. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah. So, Mr. Cooper, would you like to talk about the difference between oh old nerdcore and new nerdcore? Huh? Look. This is the question I hate answering. Divisions of the nerds to the pandering. Couldn't figure out orange, you chose Mandarin. Understand the hustle, stop the stammering. If career rain house in the site, they log into a cabinet. What the new passes in, what the game capturing. Footage we consider to be a A champion. But some clout chase so much is embarrassing. How you dance for the genre you can't book the bag, the brand that you carry it. This lane's divided into different sports. Rolls on the court, a juke algorithms, both have support. We can go back and forth Who really got the knife and fork Listen, the plug is what us be Like a port Definition of a starving artist Iron sharpen Iron Man Like we envision Jarvis Wanna expand but not enough in your fun department If you don't get the situation Proceed with caution It's very often they think they have what it takes Make mistakes to higher stakes They wanna come back like it's love Community Chevy Chase Can't demonstrate versatility Risking they fan base To your nerdcore goodie bag And try to get a taste I hate to split Place. All I do is work, eat, and repeat. Wrestle hours, can't get hold of sleep. It's time your energy a peak that I have to complete to compete with the elite and write to speak when there's no room on the sheet. Capiche? My anxiety and relationships on the relationship. Whatever I have relations with, end up relating to sinking ships. I overthink your mind takes a trip. Bust a sleep apnea takes a toll quite a bit. As hard as it gets, I feel like it's not enough. Life is rough and amazing how I never given up. I was tough, had fair weather friends, whether they fair in the end but pretending to be around if my reign will begin it depends on the emotion if i fail or i win the coattails or the grin let them all take a spin they willed it to my fortune but still focus on what's important and that's god and my family death certificate understand me i hope so yeah listen 
It's soundproof and you don't hear me though The grind speaks loudly No need for the audio That's why I stress my team to take it slow and to be patient This not the right time for our energy to be wasted Got journeys up ahead Miles need to be fed Learn to chill the yeast that will rise right with the bread If the chief's not pressed I'm gonna need y'all to rest That time coming soon I'm gonna need y'all at your best Trust me I'm just chilling in our community Behind the scenes with more action Jet Li movies being usually a pan out in the end I pretend we're just a gift as a Trojan horse In the right spot, we're using deadly force Keeping the legalities in mind like a pyramid scheme Just to occupy the time, they be fine As of me, I decline I still struggle with the things I left behind In the dirt, even worse, it's a mind by design It's hard for me to talk about Only 18, lost a drive to live Nearly took the exit route I can never get these feelings out well to the right of my where I can scream and shout at the top of my lungs I feel like I was the only one That's why I don't touch knives That's why I don't own guns I don't know what to expect I know I'm away from making the long of a text that appears that I respect But I'm a vet But sometimes we need help I wish I knew better when I felt by myself Therapy Let us begin So So that track is actually called Therapy It's where um there's a lot of double entendres when it comes to therapy. With, and I think for individuals who've seen therapists or anything like that, it's like one of the things with the Easter eggs, I'll explain a couple Easter eggs that's in that um, in particularly. And I'm not saying it as in like, you know, did you catch the bars? You know, there was a whole bunch of bars there. Did you guys catch it? it it's not, you know what I mean? It's not that kind of concept. Um when I started rapping in the beginning and I start talking about, you know, how the industry is as in we're more satisfied with a digital scene than actually bringing somebody to a show. And, um, in some aspects it's, it's true. You know, a lot of people would say, look, because I got 50 or 60,000 followers, but you know, shows and immediate, you know, meeting people to pay for the show and see you out there perform in real life is not as important as, trying to be digitally in the space. And sometimes that's the wrong way to look at these things. Um, probably the Easter egg that meant the most to me was uh, when I stopped rapping and then somebody asked me a question and they're saying, so can you tell me the difference between good, old, you know, um, old and new nerd core? Because what happens is I will talk about in interviews, this happened before, I will talk about you know, other things that's real about it. And they're like, okay, yeah, that's great. But can you tell me the difference between, you know, why old nerd core is this way and why new, new, cur you know, nerd core is that way? And the thing is, is I've been seeing not just me, but there are a lot of different artists that in this nerd genre world. And then that's what they're talking about. Well, I just got a question. I know you guys were in the beginning with everything set up with the conventions and stuff, but what about these new kids that's on YouTube and, you know, doing all these anime raps and ciphers and got hundreds of thousands of views and subscribers and all that? Like, you know, what, what, what makes you still stand out or be relevant versus the people who are in the digital scene, what they think is the face of the genre? And you get asked that question all the time. And that's why I said, you know, it's all the same. It's all still nerdcore here. You know what I mean? Like, even though you're on the digital scene, but the people who are like on the physical scene, like more like me and Rand and Lars and things like that, we're at comic conventions performing. We're on tour. We're on, you know, like just like regular artists as well. So there's a different, there's a different path to whatever bag you're trying to get. But the worst thing is where people try to separate it and make it seem like, oh, we're completely different. But in the same concept, it's all the same thing. So that's where that's where a lot of the uh, things teeter when it comes to that. So sometimes it's hard to keep answering that question over and over again when the genre is it in itself, but then there's more separation because you know certain people feel like you know because they have you know developed skills as a rapper that they always feel like they're just better than anybody that does nerd content because they just found out that people like it. So now there's people trying to do the genre and you know what I mean? It's, it's, there's too many different speculations that come into that. But like I said, that's a, that's a, a topic we can go into another day. You know what I mean? Me personally, I just make the music I want to make. You know, I, if I want to make nerd content and do things I feel love, I'm going to do it. And I'm not, 
concerned about whether it looks like you on the new side or the old side. I'm on the side of the genre. I'm on the nerdcore hip hop side. I'm on, you know, I'm on the nerdcore genre period. Not even just hip hop, like the parody, the hip, you know, the um, rock and roll, all genres that, in, you know, inspire nerd culture. So that's what I'm about. And I wish more people would be about that in the future. So uh, the next track is actually, you know, next track is actually pretty difficult to um, talk about. Um, it's one of one of the really gritty, darker tracks that I've made um, when I was at a darker place at a point in time. And uh, this track's called Two Shots. And um, I talk about the dream, the first dream I ever quit in my entire life. Um, because originally music was not my my dream. You know what I mean? That came later on in life. But my original dream was basketball. Um, and this why it's called Two Shots. So it's not like I went, pow, pow, two shots. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> it ain't nothing like that. So um, I'm just going to go deeper into it. Then you guys can really feel the vibe and let's go into it. Microphone support was just fine with the feedback. The buzzing sounds on the court at a social distancing age. I was amazed by the bounce of the ball as I soon started dribbling with the back of my wall. If I focus on middle square, you make your fair share. Grin on my face was invigorating without mentioning. This is what I really wanted to do and understood the glory road can be really hard to pursue. That's the truth. In my youth, that's how I became the coop, not just the government. It was layups I used to do. Putting up a shot, double team, pile time, whistle blown. Number 11, report to the foul line, yeah. You would think I would be just fine if only the championship game wasn't on the line. Yeah, two, two shots. shots. My life, my life, my life, my life. Giving two shots. Giving two shots. Six seconds on the clock, sweat on my shirt. This is the part that truly hurts. Time I was caught, I caught a word from the coach. There was a man with a message. It's coming from the folks. He approached me just to say, your uncle died at work between two semis. He was crushed alive. I apologize. What I meant to say, your dad will be here any minute. Don't you got a game to finish? Man, I was not pressured at the foul line with a score of us one behind. With two shots can really change the tide. The first shot, I couldn't feel it in my hands. And with the second shot, I could feel the anger in the stands. Yeah, we lost as the buzzer rang. My dad ran into the gym. And by the look, he saw the school broke the news. And it wasn't him. The glimmer in my spirit was wearing thin. What's the depression? What's this door that I'm walking Missing in? Two shots. My life, my life, my life, my life. Missing two shots. It's okay. Missing two shots. Just take it slow. Okay. Uh, after the wake, I awake in a different state. No doors or windows in this certain place. I started eating comfort, started gaining weight. Tried off for the team and no mistake, you're too big. You can't keep the pace. The dream you chase is now bigger stretch in the limousine. But you could join the intramural team if you find a league. I never knew how to catch fatigue. I didn't know what more you wanted to expect from me. You would think that being bullied was the bluff. The real struggles having to prove to the blacks that you were black enough. It was rough. Confidence really took a loss. My love for playing sports really tethered off. 
All I can think about is these two shots. If I just made these two shots, will the machine stop? Success in the future can make the plot, but it doesn't change the effects we all see in Pandora's box. Nowadays, I hate the sounds of the shot clock. And I get triggered with the loud cheers. So I'm at the foul line, ready to face fears. And finally close out a game I left open for 25 years, you know? Tears. Why would you bring me back here? That was like a long time ago. I've been through a lot since then. This is really hard to talk about. But here's the thing though, Mark. You made it through. It's okay to grieve. Okay, um... So, uh, that's, um, two shots, um... Okay, so, sorry. But, uh, that's the song, Two Shots, is about... The dream was basketball around that time playing since I was six and um, championship game everything was good everything was fine um, my dad worked a lot so I already knew there were certain you know certain things you know he had to do what he had to do for the sake of us and I, I know sometimes he's you know um, busy but uh I heard about my uncle passing. Um, around that time. So. That happened at the same time while he was on his way here. Um, to, you know. Congratulate me if I won the game. So. When I. Um, But I heard the news. I mean, I was at another school. Um, switched schools. Didn't really, you know, have any support. And the thing is, what people don't know about championship games um, back then for me is that if they picture you being the star player and then you miss those two shots, like, you know, you miss those. The coach doesn't come to you. The the players don't comfort you. The fans don't either. They just more disappointed in the fact that you lost the game for them than anything else. So I was on the um I was on a court in the same spot for probably a good twenty minutes after the game stopped. Um my dad came in, he already knew everybody was leaving and then the people were like, Yeah, it's time to go. And um at that point, I just, I stopped smiling. I stopped talking. And um, eventually, it turned into a um, a coping mechanism to, for, you know, we eat in comfort. So I didn't know what depression was at the age of nine. I just kind of, you know, just didn't talk about it. And, um. um And that's what happened to me over time. Um, and then I just didn't want it anymore. Um, but I'm not trying to bring attention to myself. I'm sorry. Um, I'll go to the next track. Uh, the next track is called Success and Failure. And uh, that's my um, biggest fear. Um, Success and failure is like a lot of people say it's a um, a uh, a personal entity, as in whatever you make success is success, wherever you make failure it is. It's like a mentality. But the thing about success is that when you're in a circle with individuals and you end up being successful or you be at a higher level with that certain things, 
people around you start to change because they don't know. You know what I mean? You don't really know who's at the top with you. And it is like climbing a mountain. But with understand mountains go like this. So the higher you go up the mountain, the more of the mentality that somebody has to succeed. Um, and fighting that is hard, especially when you spent your whole time climbing that same mountain forever. And then after you quit something, now you have to start from the very beginning of how hard you work for something. And it's hard to believe in dreams when things like that happen. So I'm scared to fall down the mountain, but I'm also scared of leaving people behind when I succeed. But there's no point of staying in the middle of the mountain. You have to choose. You either choose the happiness of others to make sure everybody's there or you get nothing. And that's why I used to feel all the time. That's why I always put everybody else before me on everything because of it. Sorry. So the next track is um, Success and Failure. Let's check this out. What's it gonna be? Gonna be success or failure? Success or failure is a fear of hand inside for quite some years. Disappear, disappear, or continue to layer, continue to layer. Cause the things I know, I know. The question now is clear. Where do I go from here? His fan base is original and organic like Trader Joe's. He got to know succeed. Man, I wanted that to be me. I hate the fact he's so natural lot in the sounds he makes when he breathes. So you thought you were meant to win? Nah, you were meant to lose. You got lucky. Bro, trust me, don't even get that confused. What's it gonna be? Gonna be success or failure? Success or failure is a fear of head inside for quite some years. Or continue to layer, continue to layer. Cause the things I know, I know. The question now is clear. Where do I go from here? Awaiting the drop, always distorting the view Dealing with pros and cons 
success and failure, my mental dilemma, I don't know what to tell you. So that one's a uh, success and failure. Um, just to let everybody know, um, I made all the all the production for this, um, wrote it of course, and mixed and mastered myself, and I uh, finished this whole project in um, ten days. Um, it was a particular point in um, in February where I had a um, I had a personal uh, mental breakdown. Um, and uh, it happened at work, and I never really had those things before. Um, putting two and two together and understanding. Have you ever been in a position where you just started from the beginning? No, no, you just started from the middle in life. And you have those particular moments where you don't really know why this happened. You just say, okay, it happened. I just don't have a reason why. And then you forget those things and then now you're embracing traits that could have been could have been treated in a certain way, form or fashion. And I didn't know, you know, at the point in life I had a problem. An emotional problem. And I don't mean emotional problem like I'm, you know, crazy or psychotic or anything like that. It's just that um we don't talk about things. And that was one of my problems. It just kind of, they just thought, yeah, he's just a growing boy. He's just eating, you know what I mean? It is what it is. But then I got, you know, I got a lot bigger and then, you know, a little more irritable because things weren't, you know, you couldn't really do the dream that you wanted anymore. And then you just kind of was at a loss. It's like, what do I really do? You know, I can go to school and then get a, you know, get a degree just like anybody else, you know, to go to college and all that stuff. And then. It's just a lot of things that happen um, when it came to that. So it goes to this next track where I'm basically going to explain that. It's not a rap track. It's um, it's it, The track is called 91827. And the reason why I did that is because a lot of us always ask those questions saying, hey, if you ever could talk to your 9-year-old self or your 18-year-old self or your 27-year-old self, what would you say and what would you do? And when it comes to therapy, sometimes you have to understand where you were so this is what that track is so this is just kind of what i was able to find out about myself and understand about this so we'll go right into it so you finally made it to the end yeah i guess i did okay now let's cut to the chase right now i got three people that know you very well here right now you at age nine you at age 18 and you at age 27 they're all here for a reason they're looking for answers to explain the past they've been waiting a long time it's time to lay them to rest player one this is the last step to activate the gloves full power but it's only up to you so age nine, after that championship game, that feeling you got after the game was the day we truly stopped smiling and we dipped off in depression. We were in a position where we switched schools and basically had to start over finding friends. Let's be real, we didn't really have any friends. So at times we coped with just eating. We got bigger. So when basketball trials came out, we weren't in shape anymore. So we got more depressed, and we started to eat more, became more irritable, irritated. But the problem is this, we never talked about it. Same time with Uncle Mike passing, we never truly learned how to grieve. So we just held on to it with everything else. Which brings me to age 18. This may be hard for you to understand, but here it goes. High school, we've been through so many obstacles that were not common. We were just fighting to be accepted. But the crowd felt, you know, you were part of the special ed kids and the blacks at the school felt that you weren't black enough just by the way you spoke, proper. You even had teachers that felt that the chances of you making it in university were slim to none. And most importantly, 
You even let go of the girl you always wanted to take to prom because you were fear of her putting you in a category that you were already placed in by the other peers. Along with the baggage since nine. So that very night, remember, you always wanted to be a chef. So we were home alone washing dishes one day. After that track practice, when you heard that girl you don't like, tell your crush, you know, your crush, that you were a waste of air. You thought about ending it all and then the power went out. I believe it was an act of God. I will say this, that same weekend, someone came over to work on music with you when you were starting. That guy was Mike Jack. If he wouldn't have came that weekend, we wouldn't be having this conversation today. Finally, age 27, <laughs> you gotten really big, man. You kept making music in what people say you could. You lived in different states, constant growth, but due to all the eating and the constant work, we missed out on a lot of things in life. We missed out on dating, partying, and then it got to the point that we developed type 2 diabetes, along with sleep apnea. So the dating phase, intimacy, didn't go in great in the relationships. Growing up, we didn't like confrontations, so we wouldn't say anything, so eventually, it just turned into lying. We never wanted to hurt the people we cared about, but we did. So I want to say sorry for those things. But before all that, you have to learn to be happy for yourself. You can't just find happiness in other people or significant others. You need to have it as well. We are very determined to be there for everyone else in any circumstance, but we always put ourselves last. If we keep doing that, we'll never be happy. Yeah, you'll go through a few relationships, lose a good amount of weight, more music blessings later, but hear this. We're not alone anymore. We can finally let it go. Well done. Now I truly know how you feel, man. Yeah, I guess you do. Hey, before you go, there's some things we want to request before you go. What's up? Is it possible you could pick up the basketball again? I know our original goal is gone, but just to see if we can still do it for the joy of playing. Sure. Yo, bro, you didn't even go back to the joy of cooking? Let's make more things that be healthier for us to eat. That's the plan. One last thing, Mark. Never forget where you came from. Everything we've been through happened for a reason. It's time to be happy, Mark. If not, it'll all be for nothing. So that one is uh nine eighteen twenty seven. Um is one of those kind of tracks is personally for me to be able to vocally understand for myself. So it's not one of those things where I expect you guys to just go ahead and listen through this over and over and over again, you know what I mean? But this is this is something personal for me on that. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of it. And I was finally able to figure that out by um, by February that caused the breakdown. And um, fun fact, uh, when I was doing two shots, I think it took me 25 takes to do. And not because it was difficult to say. It was just difficult to get through it without crying. So... It's something I've never even talked to my parents about. Like, nobody really knew anything about any of those things. And I also want to let people know if they are in a particular position where they um, do have a situation where they feel like, you know, where it comes to suicide and things like that, you know, check on your friends. You never know what individuals go through. And I have to understand that, you know, I, I like making music, but I don't like to make music that makes them feel bad or, you know, or make people feel upset about things and put them in a certain place. But this is something I naturally did. And that's why I didn't I didn't want to promote anything like this. I just wanted to release this so I could be able to be done with it and walk away and just be, you know, go back to things. Um, so. This is not no intention of me trying to 
you know, getting like, yeah, everybody buy this, everybody do it, you know, do everything. And I think in nerdcore in general, there's not a lot of this. Um, there's a lot of people who go through their own torments and their own, you know, getting picked on, bullied and all of those things. So I hope, I hope this helps. So the next track I actually go into and the track is called, which is one of my second fears and um, it's called time. And when you had a particular road where you constantly and constantly all day, every day, you have to be on, you have to have this mentality as in you always have to prove that you're just like everybody else. And when you get to that point and you do that for decades at a time, you lose everything else sometimes. And then that's where people be like, dang, Mark, man, I wish I had your motivation. Man, I wish you had this, blah, 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 blah. No, you don't. It was a way to cope. Um, one thing I do want to say also, and this is another Easter egg in it. Some people know me for the beat tapes that's called I Know How You Feel, Man. And the way that came from was came from Doug, which was when Skeeter saw Doug get his bike stolen. And he's like, hmm, I know how you feel, man. But in reality, it painted the situation that you don't know how a person feels. And it can be very insulting when, you know, you don't know this person. You'd be like, yeah, I know how you feel about that, man. Yeah. But so I could never really say what I felt. So I put it in my music. So when I came out with those beat tapes, I know how you feel, man. It was a testament as in like. Okay, this month you're going to put everything you possibly can in, in anything that you produce in your music into this. Do they sell beats? Of course, they're beats. You know what I mean? A lot of people buy those things and, you know what I mean, and want tracks. They like, you know, it is what it is. I'm a producer. But intentionally, it was for me to cope for whatever situation I was going through in life. And whenever I have those particular harsh moments. So that's what I used that for that so in it when they said i finally know how you feel man that basically means as in i finally explain how i feel so that's the bucket list for that for somebody who's been listening to i know how you feel man beat series and all that stuff and then it just i just start embracing the types of things i do in my my producer tapes it's not because i was trying to be like yeah i'm gonna come up with all these beats i'm working man i'm working like no nah, man i'm exhausted and and sometimes it's a cry for help. I just don't ask for it. So I bury it in work. So sometimes I could be closed off emotionally to the world because I make sure that I always make sure something, a task has to be done. A task has to be put together. I have to make sure I get where I need to be. I got to make sure the squad's okay. I got to make sure my family's okay. I got to make sure everything is okay. I got to make sure my you know, significant other is okay. I gotta, I care about all of those things. I make sure I'm, you know, make sure all that stuff is taking place before I even think about, Mark, you sure you're okay? And sometimes I don't even um, ask myself that question anymore. So, so the next track is called uh, Time. I went the 80s route. I love 80s drums and synths. So you hear some stuff. I remember days when the room would start to cave in like I'm a failure by design But I will never give up, no So you won't find me wasting time I remember days when the room would start to cave in like I'm a failure by design I will never give up, no So you won't find me Wasting time yeah. No need for introductions, I'm the final act with the main attract. Trap piece to the acrobat. Looking back, routines is drier than a laundromat. Almanacs trying to match the stats and get on the map. So self-conscious. 
if I ever make it. Know the show grow, but plateaued at many stages. Through the phases to become the greatest. But sip my conveyor belts right in the shelf and sip for ages. We all human and we malfunction. We have our spur in the moments like Tim Duncan. If I'm ever put in a dungeon with a dragon, I would imagine I would slay it and replay it. My tie style until you hate it. We often lose sight of what's important. Waiting for the spotlight, Commissioner Gordon. Wanna be heroes with a mask and a cape when it's time to save lives. We often know to procrastinate. I remember days when the room would start to cave in like I'm a failure, but inside, but I will never give up, no, so you won't find me wasting time. Yeah. I'll bring my mind that I still capture Those same flaws that we can't master Life's faster than roadrunners And the dreams that we chased after We need to understand the main factor Living it's much more than the wins and losses Hashtag me for the double crosses Whatever the world offers All I know has gotta be suited for something bigger Lavelle Crawford, that crease is that much sharper But there's more like Billy Mays I'm afraid that our future transform into the Hunger Games Make a star stream of the robotic names you can think of And cold words to disguise the blame Really? They expect the fall of the protocol Not to maintain focus without Adderall Cards dealt like Gambit with my feet planted Cause I'm the ace in the hole, hope you understand it I gotta get up I gotta get up Feel you by design I gotta get up I gotta get up I gotta get up I gotta get up I remember days when the room would start to cave in like I'm a failure, but inside, but I will never give up, no, so you won't find me wasting time. Yeah, so that track is called Time, and I uh, just wanted to, you know, do that aspect for it. <laughs> I'm glad people like that. It's a hashtags are made for the double crossers. Uh, you know, the double cross hashtag, sorry. Uh, people people like bars. I, I try. But um, so this next track, I went something different. One of the other fears I actually conquered on this track is that I wanted to sing on my records and I wanted to do it more, but I was always self-conscious about that feeling. So I was conquering a lot of different vulnerabilities of things I've always wanted to do in music. So I know you're hearing more hooks of me singing the songs and stuff. And I believe I'm able to, for myself, to be able to put the point across and make sure it sounds where it needs to be. Like I'm not one of those like self-conscious people. I'm great at everything, but sometimes you... You got to try some stuff. And for this particular project, you definitely have to do it. And then that's the, you know, that's the double entendre. You either you succeed at you trying to, you know, vent out and get out everything that you need or you fail at it. And the thing is, what I find out at the end of, you know, at the end of the project is that this is a fear that will never go away. And it's a... It's a mentality for me. And and the thing is, a lot of people will say you face your fears and you overcome them. But sometimes when you embrace your fears, they make you a stronger person. And that's what it's done for me. To understand that there is a there is acknowledgement that I may not do well. And there is acknowledgement that I can do well. So having both of those balances also keep me in a particular position as in to do the very best ever in anything that I do. And if it's any way to express this kind of thing when it comes to music and then people see me and they're like, you know, like, how are you so motivated? How do you tick? 
This is it. Period. So, life is too short. Love everybody. And do right by people. Be a good person. Because there are people, of course, have done, not done, but been through worse than I have. And this is not a spotlight saying, oh, woe is me. Everybody give me hugs or anything like that at all. It's just how life is sometimes. You can overcome fear and walk away from it when it comes to that. But when it's the kind of fear that always stares you in the face every single day of your life. You have to learn to embrace it that it's there. And you know it's there. You just got to be strong to fight it every time. It gets easier. But that's how I feel every day. So, the final track, ironically, it's called Champions. Um, and I teamed up. This is the only feature I have. And this is with Ace Buchanan out of Finland. And uh, he plays the guitar solo because we do the synth wave stuff in. It's a lot of fun, but it keeps the energy there. So this is one of the first tracks where I literally sing the entire thing. So let's see where we at. The moments we create, the dreams we choose to chase. I'll be damned if I fall from grace. Just know that I don't want to know other way. All the dues are paid, so deep inside We go above and beyond Cause we were born to be champions We were born to be champions We were born to be champions I think about it night and day, the world has no delay in my heart, not meant to walk away or run, to the dreams I left wide open, to pull back the darkness going through, from every point of view, I've been through hell and back, with everything attached, oh Lord. You think I finally in my match Head to head I had my wins and losses Even through the sea of gossip I tend to have the masses all the truth Time to make another move The moments we create The dreams we choose to chase I'll be damned if I fall from grace Cause know that I All the dues are paid, so deep inside We go above and beyond Cause we were born to be champions We were born to be champions Navigating through my mind The ice still do the shine Don't freeze up When the game is on the line Cause you're out of lines And out of chances Fighting for the moments Peeking through What plateau should subdue I wanna know Who we leave behind They gotta go They don't age for time We gotta grow Parsley, sage, and tie, cause I'm the low Season is divine, I'm on a roll Dice games can't provide, I give a show Where spotlights align, I, I don't know One day you could be just fine Until you're falling from the sky It's hard to breathe. 
truth is hard to bring To all my nightmares They haunted me Some days just come back And never leave And never leave And the doors that stay shut Without a key From the suicide attempts To therapy The things I hold close Inside of me Took a quarter century But you up to speed You up to speed from where I used to be From where I used to be I'm much better now Than I was then Unnoticed depressions At the age of 10 No more self-doubts Never again I can finally let go Become a champion Okay, so that's Champions. That's the last track on the um, on the EP, and I even got a surprise for um, everybody in the squad that um, that's heard this project before, um, and it's something that I've, I've said, but I thought about it and I put everything together. This is also you could play forwards and backwards. So if you literally play it from Champions, and do you play it all the way to four months left? it was still in continuity, be able to be played backwards and forwards. So that's where success and failure comes from. So I started with failure and went all the way up until success, which is champions. And then you could begin from champions all the way to failure. So you can understand the ladder between success and failure. And that's why success and failure is track four. So after champions, you hear time and they'd be like, what is he talking about time? And then it's it's time to talk about what happened at age nine, 18 and 27. And then afterwards, it's like, wow, that happened. That's crazy. What does that mean? Success and failure. So I explain what I mean by success and failure. Then I go into failure, which was two shots. And then after two shots, I went to a depression. And then that's where therapy comes in. And then after therapy, it's four months left. So it's four months left to get ready for Gerald's Field. But the only way to get ready ready for Gerald's Field is to know my own fears. I had to fight my own fears from success and failure. And that's why I put both together like that. That's the premise of the project. I think like that sometimes and sometimes I even don't realize what I do until I realize what I did. Success and fa- failure is a parallelogram of a project or I think it's either. Par- no, no, not parallelogram. I'm sorry. A palindrome. Palindrome. Ooh, parallelogram. Ooh, that's awful. <laughs> that's kind of off center. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I got dad jokes, man. So sorry. <laughs> I apologize. But if you do one day, if you guys do want to check out the project, it's on my Bandcamp page. Um, I haven't upgraded it on the It's Mark Cooper yet, but it'll be up there soon. Hopefully I could be able to uh, do that tomorrow, you know, be able to add in the website and things like that. Um, But yeah, I just wanted to let you know, best friend. What's up, best friend? Um, It's just, uh, yeah. 
So that's how the project is running. It goes forwards and backwards. So you can hear from both uh both positions, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's the project there. Um I'll be willing to run it back if you guys would like. If not, I can um let me type in the uh the what you call it, the website uh All right. Okay, you should see it there. I'm about to type it into uh, Facebook chat now. If you guys want to hear that, and my jokes are not out of shape, okay? They have a shape. They're just not a very favorable shape. That's the thing. Okay, cool. It came through the Facebook. So, so how am I able to type in the Facebook thing, but I'm not able to see it through this? I don't understand. I don't understand this uh this restream thing. This is this is pretty crazy. Um oh my god. I don't get streaming sometimes. Um also kind of want to let everybody know uh right now I got the vinyl. Hold on, I'm about to show you guys what the vinyl looks like if you haven't seen it. Chair did a full spin and everything. It was like trying to do a dance move, you know? Okay. So, if you guys haven't seen it, it's a test drive vinyl. Officially came out. Yeah, yeah, move the vinyl. Nah, nah. Oh, actually, you could see it better if I do it like this. Oh, awesome. Look at that. No light? Okay, cool, cool. All right. So, this is what's cool. So, each vinyl, to let everybody know, it comes with an exclusive poster, you know, player one. I could do over here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So it comes with the official player one poster that comes in every vinyl. Uh, what else is next here? Okay, so it comes with that in a uh, also comes with a download card of the um, of the project. So if you just you know if you didn't have a vinyl you know a record player, but then again you can always go on the streaming platforms. But at the end of the day, I have it there just in case. So this is what the vinyl looks like. La, 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 la. Oh, wow, didn't uh, didn't do that. Yeah, I sure did. And this is the vinyl, and this is what it looks like. Oh, oh, I think we good. There we go. Look at that. It's got different little colors in it and everything. And the reason why I did that um, is because I wanted to have the 80s thing with this. So since it's like an 80s-based album, I wanted to have the, you know, the old-school tie-dye stuff back then. So it's definitely hype. Even though it is partially 90s, that tie-dye was very popular, but... In the '80s, I made sure I used the, the uh, the blues and the reds, and that's the you know the theme of the album um, thing, and it also my brand and all that stuff. So I put it all there. Um, definitely hype. There's a lot of people on this project. Um, you know, all the music on here I actually made uh, myself. I did have some uh, features or co-collabs like uh, Ace Buchanan, um, uh, Ray Savarez. Um, Vess and Tyler did a remix of Toys R Us Kids on here. Runaway Droid, Ace Buchanan, and uh, Aramis 616 did the uh, action. Um, some of the rap features I had on here. I mean, oh, of course, I had the voice actors. I like to have voice actors in my albums because that way it makes uh, the experience more fun. So you heard, like, if you heard other projects, you hear, like, the voice of Goku, Optimus Prime. Um, let me think. Goku, Optimus Prime, I had like four of the Spongebob cast, so like Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Plankton on there. I had Timmy's dad. Um, Timmy's dad doesn't have a first name. That That's a cartoon mystery we'll never find out. Um, of course, I had like a voice of Johnny Bravo, like all types of things. Goku, Vegeta, I had all that stuff on there just to have it. Um, normally, it was by my friend... Um, Tristan Scott and uh, Alex Walker Smith, they were the voice actors able to do impressions for me to put it on there. But I did get one real voice actor on here. I did get the voice of Zordon. Uh, David Fielding is actually on the album as well. Um, also, I get to have conversations in the album with uh, with Tommy Oliver. And, you know, just basically him saying, welcome to Gerald's Field. Something really cool. So I want to reach out and be able to get him for real on um on Gerald's Hill. So I've been working hard on that, putting everything together there. 
Um, I also put in a test drive. I put in podcast. And the way I did it is because test drive is I'm in the car with Fluff the Phantom Focus. And that's why I called it. And it's a Knight Rider car. So I put in my cousin Fluff. Shout out to DJ Fluff. Um, I've made him a voice actor in there to be the car that drives me to Gerald's field. So I call it test drive because half of the album is synth wave. So it's like a test drive as in it's a test for me to try a different kind of genre. And I made in a story so major couldn't find me because I'm not doing the typical hip hop stuff. So normally when it comes to genres, they like to put people in a box because they hear the same thing over and over again. But when you go a completely different direction, they can't find you because they're, you're not doing the same thing everybody else would do. So that's where I was hiding and then um, had different voice actors. This is a really, really fun, intuitive album. Um, had had features from like Fat Father, uh, June's Flow, uh, features from Rocket Gaming. Of course, you know, the Sky God herself, Prowess the Testament, shouts to her. I know she's in the chat. So she was the one that actually gave me the left-handed power glove in the show or in the, in the album, which is cool. And she's also uh, rapping with me on this track, Action, which... Um, which is where we give homage to 80s um, action movies. So it's a really nice hype track for that. That's all on streaming platforms too, just in case if you don't get the vinyl here. So overall, all this stuff was fun. I even had um, I had Leon Taylor on this one. I had Strife and Savior Monroe, shout out to them. And I also had um, a friend of mine, which is Mathis Wells, AKA he's the voice of Major, of Major Label. And he's been on the voice acting portion um, for the whole process of the album. So it's been very fun to have, you know, a back and forth with the character throughout the projects. So that part was fun. So this is where I want to let you guys know on. So the vinyl right now is 40. And the reason why it's 40 is because, you know, it's a very exclusive one. There's only a hundred of these right now. I only have 60 left currently. I've only had the vinyl for maybe about a week and a half. And, um, yeah, so they're definitely going fast here. I've been, uh, I have no problem shipping anything or anything of that nature. So if you guys need a copy, hit me up only, not only that, um, anybody who purchased the vinyl right now, cause it's my first vinyl ever. You will get what's called, uh, I think I have, do I have it on my, oh man, I don't think I have one. Okay. Yeah, I do, but it comes on a lanyard, right? And you get a key to the game. Now the key to the game actually has, um, really cool stuff. So all you got to do is just plug it into your car and then you could be able to access the music if you have that USB uh, capability with your vehicle, but there'll also be a track on there to listen for. And it will tell you some special things that you get because you purchased the vinyl and there's something special where it's the key to the game and you unlock some really cool, neat stuff. So not only that, you get Iron Player One, you get the AllSpark, you get the digital copy of uh, Test Drive, you get Ranger Rap, so I rapped about my Power Ranger stuff, that project. You get the Super Pack, which was tracks that weren't on the AllSpark that I put on there. And also, you get a copy of Success and Failure as well. So for 40, you get six projects because I appreciate every one of you guys for following me and supporting and things of that nature. So we got a little bit of these things left. So that come with a key to the game. It's a flash drive with all the stuff that's on there. And all you got to do is just plug it in and it's the key to the game. It's the key to the discography. It's the best way to explain it. Your discography is insane when you got the key to the game. I know I sound like I'm Billy Mays or something, but you know what? Billy Mays knew when there was more. You knew there was more when he was talking. So it's a good mentality to have. Rest in peace to Billy Mays. But. That's the vinyl where it comes to that. It also comes with success and failure, the project that you just heard. And um, no further ado, um, if you guys ever want to check it out, I got the links in the description there. This is one of those kind of projects where I want to say I wasn't ashamed to promote, but it was one of those projects where it's like, look, man, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to put a price on vulnerability because sometimes that's wrong. But People also insisted to want to support because they support me. So, I, of course, I made it available for sale or donation. But I wanted to let people know that. And that's why I also didn't put it on streaming platforms yet. Because I wanted the people who are, you know, like the core fans of people who really enjoy the music I create to get something really special. And um, that was the reason why I decided to release the project. And personally, it's 
therapy for me. And that's how I've been getting through things is um, releasing beat tapes and projects and stuff. It's not because I'm trying to say, look, I just released 40 projects. What you doing? It's, it's nothing like that. It's just a way for me to cope with emotions that I wasn't able to talk about until now. So, Gerald Show is going to be super, super fun because it's going to be all different types of features and and posse cuts and it's just going to be an overall fun experience because Gerald's feels the land of the lost players. So it's the only particular album where I can have nothing but features like collaborating with different people, making different songs and stuff. And that's what the project is really going to be the gist of about. And then of course the storyline, and this is what concludes the player one series. And then after that possibilities are endless. So, so other than that, I really appreciate you guys all hanging out with me here. And, um, and I know it's a very vulnerable moment, so I apologize for breaking down a little bit because I haven't heard the project since I made it, um, you know, since I played it for everybody. And um, I appreciate all of you. Much love to everybody. And, and the last thing, most importantly, if you know somebody that may not be emotionally okay or anything like that, Please, you know, contact a suicide hotline. Please check on your strong friends. This world is crazy. Um, with the pandemic, with everything in this world, please. How You have no idea how important that really is for somebody. Um, please do that. Because I'm blessed that, you know, things happen the way they did. Because if that was the case... Like I said, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So understand how important mental health is in all aspects and just understand that. And I hope that any, and that's what it comes to my music, man. I want to make sure that I provide, I provide a voice for those individuals who didn't have one. The ones that never got the opportunity to say what I what they needed to say or honestly just weren't strong enough to deal with the bullying and then they turned into bullies themselves because they wanted their own revenge and that's not how the world works not not in a good way so check on your loved ones and make sure everybody's okay even when it doesn't seem like they are sometimes giving that extra step and letting them talk you can save lives. And with my nerd music, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. If it's anything I want to do in life is be able to touch people with music at all ages to let them know like, hey, yeah, you're different. So it doesn't mean you can't be great. It's what I live for. So by no further ado, I'm going to chill out or something. Um, Maybe I'll play a game or watch something or I don't know. Um, I'm going to need some time. But uh, I appreciate you guys. Monday we go back to reviewing. So we review songs and things like that. And starting in April, I'm swapping Wednesdays to Saturdays. And that's where I'm going to really focus on for individuals who are trying to learn different things about mixing or song reviews. And I'm accepting everybody. Because we can all, you know, get some opinions and talk about music and make sure that, you know, we do the best that we can to, you know, provide the best product. Sometimes it's good to show people other quality to make it better. You know what I mean? And who knows? I can learn things from other people that I review that I could do something different with my particular music. So, like I said, man, um, vulnerability sucks, but it's a part of life. So thanks again, guys. I'm heading on out of here. Uh, it's been a long day. All right. Peace, y'all. And if you guys haven't seen where you need to go, right on here. So just remember, uh, it's markcooper.com. You can follow it on all streaming platforms, inclu including Twitch as well. That's all in there, ready to go. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have some really dope content coming later and, um, you know, later on in the future. So stay tuned for that. All right, peace.